What is up everybody, Savage Lord Barlow here, back again with another high school story video. Now right before we get into it, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications. Now if I mess up while reading, I don't care, we're just going to keep moving on. Anyways, the quest that we're going to be doing today is making dough. So we're just going to go ahead and spend those 200,000 coins, and we're just going to read the description. Want to make a donation to the Great Bank of Nishan? Let's uh, look at the preview. One sunny weekend, you pull up to your school parking lot for a car wash fundraiser. A line of cars wait their turn in the hot sun. While Nishan runs a car wash alone, shirtless in his hair, and his hair in, <laughs> and his hair in disarray, he scrambles to keep up with the long line of customers. Whoa. Hey, Nishan. This car wash of yours looks like a hit. Dennis, thank you so much for coming. Be with you in, the, in a nanosecond. I forgot. He's a techie. Hey, what's going on here? I heard there were... Hot cheerleaders running a car wash. Nope, it's just me. Still want your car cleaned? Sure, but put on a t-shirt, will ya? Nishan bustles down the line, triggering several jury rig automatic spray nozzles while he buffs up a car. By the time Nishan gets to you, he looks exhausted and his shirt is drenched in soap suds, but he brightens up when he sees you. I'll cut you a discount since you're such a good friend. That's what I'm talking about. No, I'll pay the full price. I'm here to support you. But, uh, what is this fundraising for anyway? Truth is, I need money, and I need lots of it. Say less, let's go. Nishan starts watching your car in the school parking lot. You look out the row of cars, you look out at the row of cars waiting in line. You're doing all this messy work just to make some money? It's worth it. I've got big plans for that money. Nishan points to a hand, hand drawn poster nearby. Crowdfund for the Andromedia Mark II Telescope. Nishan thanks you for your generous patronage. I've been interning at this astrophysics research firm called Black Sky, and there's this M57 Nebula 1. I w M7 M57 Nebula I wanted to study. It's absolutely crucial to understanding a star's life cycle, but my bosses just laughed at me. They think I'm too young to know what I'm doing. Ouch, that's messed up. They're always doing this, dismissing me because of my age. So I'm saving up for the Andro Media or Andro. I'm not sure how to say that. Andro. I'm just going to say Andro Mark II Telescope. I'll research the M57 on my own and prove Black Sky wrong. I take it the telescope you want is, is expensive. It costs a king's ransom, but it'll be worth every coin. I'll get to see constellations and faraway planets and maybe even some incoming alien scouts. Nashawn steps back with a flourish, your car gleams in the sun. Wow, this is the cleanest my car's been in months, thanks. No, thank you for contributing to my to my coffers. Dennis's friend is holding a car wash fundraiser. Have you ever done one of these? Yes, I have. After the car wash, you and Nashawn head over to the local cafe. On the way, Nashawn counts out his cash. $73, $74 in profit. That's not bad, that's not a bad haul. Sure. But I have to do the car wash um, 300 more times to have enough for the Andro Mark II telescope. There's got to be a better way to do this. Maybe I can tutor on the side or sell my third computer. Deshaun heaves a sigh and puts away his cash as you arrive at the cafe. There you run into a run into a patent ordering her usual peppermint latte. OMG, hi. Uh, is it just me or does Deshaun look like a baby sea otter? He's dripping water everywhere. Yeah, water ha- <laughs> Yeah, water happens when you're holding a car wash. I've been working my little otter tail off so I can buy a new telescope. Aw, cute. You look so tired though. Let me treat you to a drink. Peyton pulls a huge water cash out of her wallet. Whoa. Peyton, where'd you get so much cash? Order all the lattes you want. My treat. Part 2. Peyton unrolls a huge wad of cash. Your wallet's about to explode. Yeah, how do you look? How do you have that much money? Looks like you robbed a bank or something. Peyton shushes you, looking around secretively. She drops her voice to a whisper. I was just selling some of my homemade cookies at school yesterday, that's all. Peyton rummages around in her tote bag and produces a Tupperware full of cookies. Here, try one. Those are weed brownie cookies, or weed cookies. <laughs> Peyton offers you a cookie. You take a bite, letting the taste of karma... Caramelized brown sugar melt in your mouth. Mmm, these are amazing. As expected of you, Peyton, the last time we held a bake sale, you were the baker in chief. <laughs> I guess I'm pretty good. My grandma taught my sister Preston and how 
Preston and I how to bake when we were little. Grandmothers are truly the field experts in baking, so what do you think? Then my personal take on chocolate chip cookies. It's really delicious. I give it 5 stars. Dennis approved cookies. I should make that my sales pitch. I know why Nashawn's trying to raise money, but what about you, Peyton? Oh, um, well, you know me. Just a bigger shopping allowance. There's this pair of Jimmy Choo's that I've got my eyes on. Or eye on. You seriously made that much money selling cookies? In a single day? Oh, no. I made tons more, but the rest is in the bank. I didn't know you were fundraising too, Nish. He's trying to save up for a really expensive telescope to prove something to his intern bosses. Internship bosses. Oh, good luck with that. Actually, why don't we all join forces? I think we can help each other out. Dennis's friend is running a bake sale. Will you buy a cookie? Depends. Like, you think we should bake together? Yeah, I'm sure you could use some helping hands, and I'd love to find out how exactly you make such incredible cookies. I'd be down to help out. That would be super fun. Baking with friends is like the best. And we could and we can make way more cookies between the three of us. Okay, it's a deal. Come on, I'll show you guys how I make my cookies. Baking is just basic chemistry in delicious edible form. Part 3 At Peyton's house, you and this watch as Peyton whips up a batch of cookies in the kitchen seemingly by instinct alone. Just a pinch of this, sprinkle of that, and way more chocolate. Finally, Peyton hands you a dish of crisp golden cookies for you to try. Mmm, nothing like cookies fresh out, fresh out of the oven. Yeah, these chocolate crinkle cookies are my favorite, though I wish I knew how to make them fluffier. Actually, I have a few ideas on how to improve on perfection. You're a genius at baking, but exact measurements and a little science might get you what you want. Why don't we bake another batch? The three of you start baking. So usually I preheat the oven to 350 degrees and then I sift the flour. Maybe try 375 degrees in unbleached flour to maximize the protein content. For the next hour, Nishan and Peyton work together to perfect their chocolate crinkle cookie recipe. Judging from your last batch, I think a 1 to 1.03 ratio of crop sesame sweet chocolate to flour would improve the flavor. Gotcha. Maybe we could throw in a little corn syrup to prevent irregularities in surface appearance. Brilliant instinct. Dennis, you're, you're a stellar judge of cookie character. How do you think we should shape these? Let's go with squares, more cookie per area, circles, it's classic, hearts, it's iconic. Um, we're going to go with squares. I mean, who doesn't love squares? Every customer is looking for a good deal. Maximal area efficiency is certainly a plus. Excellent choice, Dennis. When the cookies are done, you set a plate of them down in front of Peyton. She takes a bite. These cookies... Oh man, they're probably nasty. You and Sean wait for Peyton's verdict as she takes a bite of the cookies you baked. So, what do you think? These cookies are amazing. They're even better than holding a fluffy puppy in your arms while a male model offers you a product bag at 50% discount. Has that happened to you? September 21st was a big day in my life. Judging by your reaction, our collaboration was a success. A super delicious success. Everyone's gonna love these. At this rate, I'll get my telescope in no time, and Black Sky will know I was right all along. I've got big plans for us, guys. A toast? Nishan lifts a glass of milk. Cheers. To raking in the dough. Dennis just teamed up with a few friends to sell cookies. Can they bake it till they make it? The next day, you meet Nishan and Peyton in the prep hangout just before lunch period. Peyton hands out containers of the cookies you baked yesterday. Here's the cookies to sell, and here's an extra bag of cookie samples to give out. What? Why would we give out samples for free? That's like burning money. Trust me, once everyone gets a taste, they'll be hooked. Peyton's right. Our cookies are the best. People won't be able to resist. Okay, we'll try your way. Now let's make some sales. Want to buy some cookies? We need a cheerleader. I don't care here. I don't care here. <laughs> I don't care who. We're gonna go with Shane. We need a wallflower. We're gonna go with Kurt. And an artist. Uh, let's go with Ralph. This is part four, making dough. You, Peyton, and Sean head out to sell your cookies to your classmates. You heft your bag of sample cookies. What we need right now is word of mouth. Let's offer deals and discounts along with the samples. Solid strategy. We'll cover up more ground if we split up too. I can tackle the hallways and classrooms. I'll take the quad, and I'll cover the hangouts. Everyone's going to love our cookies. The three of you split up. You walk out. Hold up. You walk onto the bustling quad with your Tupperware full of cookies. Sniff. What is that amazing smell? Is that... Shane turns around and catches sight of you. Dennis, are those cookies? Rush. You're on the quad selling cookies to your classmates. You offer Shane a sample. What do you think? Want to buy some? Totally. These are the best. 
Tell you what, if you tell all your friends about my cookies, I'll give you 15 for the price of 10. Consider it done. By the end of the day, your cookies will be like a trending hashtag. You sell several more cookies. You sell seven, several more cookie batches to Shane's friends before noticing one of your friends reading in the shade of a tree. Hey, Kurt, what you reading? Oh, just one of my old favorites, Back to Olympus. It's so good. It's about however good it is. It'd be even better while enjoying a fresh homemade cookie. Trust me, this right here is the Back to Olympus of cookies. These square cookies pack way more amazingness per no morsel. Are you going to pass on a deal like that? Just try one. Mmm, I'll take 10. You make a circuit around the quad selling your cookies. The flavors, the deep golden color, the delicate sprinkling of sugar. This is a masterpiece. I figured you would like these. You know me so well. I'll take a dozen. Soon you sell out. Everywhere you look, you see your classmates contentedly munching on your cookies. Mission accomplished. I wonder how Peyton and Deshaun are doing. Shane, Kurt, and Ralph can't get enough Dennis's baking. Will you try Dennis's cookies in real life? No. After school, you meet Deshaun and Peyton back at the prep hangout with your empty cookie container and handful of cash. OMG, I sold so many cookies. A bunch of people said they heard about the cookies because of you. Yeah, I made sure the word got out. I bet we could give Martha Stewart a run for her money. Actually, I've been looking at the numbers, and I know how we can really expand this business. The cookie business is going places, and I know just how to get us there. Part 5, Level Up Deshaun. Bro, he's maxed out. He's now level 10. I hope we have no more missions trying to um, level him up. Deshaun pulls up a graph on his phone and shows it to you and Peyton. Our sale numbers are looking good, but I think we can go bigger and better. And how do we do that? If we bring more distributors into our network, we could sell even more cookies. We could run the entire school, including the one place our classmates will want our product most. Yeah, in Mr. Olsen's class, the cafeteria, the locker rooms. The cafeteria. It's the perfect place. My thoughts exactly. We sold our wares everywhere on campus except the cafeteria, and that's where the bulk of our hungry future customers are. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. The lunch ladies are a little territorial. They sell cookies too, and I seriously doubt they'd like it if we started selling on their turf. If that's true, then maybe our best course would be to tread lightly. No, the lunch ladies' monopoly on products sold in the cafeteria is the death knell for capitalist society. Having no competition has allowed them to serve the stale cookies for, for too for too long. Cookies are stale as their ideas. They just think because they're so older than us, they know what's best. I don't think so. Hold on. Are you talking about the lunch ladies or your bosses at Black Sky? What I'm saying is, we need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and see who has the better product. Then I guess we're selling in the cafeteria. Dennis's friend has ideas for expanding their cookie business. Hope their plan isn't half-baked. If we're going to take on the lunch ladies, we'll need way more cookies. Dennis is right. We'll need the supply to meet the demand. And after today, there's going to be a ton of demand. So what I'm hearing is... Baking party! Get ready to bake more than you've ever baked in your life. If we're gonna bake, if we're gonna rake in the dough, we have to bake it first. Spend 50,000 coins and start baking. After school. You and Peyton set out mixing bowls in Peyton's kitchen while Nashawn reviews a list of cookie recipes. If we want to maximize our sales in the cafeteria, we'll need options. I'm thinking classic chocolate chip, peanut butter, peanut butter, oatmeal, thumbprint jewel. Let's start with s'mores cookies. Remember how to make those? Uh, <laughs> nope. First, preheat the oven to 395 degrees to facilitate the mallet reaction, which will make our cookies more flavorful than Ambrosia. After you sift it together the dry ingredients, beat, beat in the butter, sugar, and eggs with the mixer on low. Once that's done, chill the dough for exactly 15 minutes. This will help the cookies maintain their structure and optimize its mouthfeel. Can you handle this task? The fryers of the oven are unforgiving. No worries, I've got this. Yeah, I'm going to be Dennis's right-hand baker. We've got this. Great, then I'll work on the sugar lattice cookies that require precise chemical reaction to promote the crystal structure. Deshaun bustles away, muttering chemical formulas under his breath. You set the oven to 375, 395. Now to tackle the dough, Peyton measures out the ingredients while you sift the, sift together the flour, cocoa, and baking soda. Sigh. My mixer needs an upgrade, but it'll do the job. What speed do I set it to? Low, medium, high. I don't even remember them talking about this. I'm going to go with medium. Once all the ingredients are combined, you fold in the chocolate chips and marshmallows with the spatula. After that, you slide the dough into the fridge. Uh, how long do you... Uh, I think it was 15 minutes. 
When the cookies are ready to bake, you slide the tray into the oven. Eight minutes later, you take out the cookies and Sean samples one and spits it out. Wow. Ugh. What is this? It's like a dirty rug had a baby with the marshmallow. Guess that's how the cookie crumbles. It's okay. We can try again. We'll totally ace this next time. Bro, what? Oh my gosh, I'm not reading this again. All right, what did I miss out on? 95. Okay. All right. I still, I'm, I must have missed something. I, I don't know what I missed. I'm gonna set that jump to high, cause it said it did say beat it, so I'm just gonna set it to high. Uh, 15 minutes. Bro, what? What? Oh my gosh, I did exactly what he said. Preheat the oven to 395 degrees. Oh, it says on low, okay. Okay, I missed that. Okay, so I had everything right. Okay, we're good, we're good. Bro, I can't read. Uh, 395. I'm gonna put that thing on low. Uh, after that, 15 minutes. Now we should have it right. Let's go, perfect. 10 out of 10, we'll certainly eat this cookie again. <laughs> it was easy as cake, or er, cookies. During lunch period, the next day, you head out to the cafeteria to sell your cookies. Just before you walk in, you hesitate. Are you guys sure about this? Selling on a lunch lady's turf? No business has ever succeeded without risk, Peyton. Let's do this. You square your shoulders, put on a bright smile, and push open the cafeteria doors. Got a sweet tooth? We've got what you want. We've got chocolate chips, s'mores, raspberry jam, peanut butter, the works. Got a freebie for a good friend? Oh, sure. What do you want? We've got... Hold on, we can't give our good man West a free cookie. This is business. Facts. Now that I now that I can respect, tell you what then. Why don't you sell me a whole box instead? A whole box? So you can resell most of the cookies at a markup to cover your expense, basically getting yourself some cookies for free. You catch on quick. Any problem with that? Nope. That'll be 20 bucks. Soon your classmates are lining up to buy cookies from you. Smiley Peyton hums a tune as she hands out cookies. At this rate, you'll be able to buy those Jimmy Choo's you wanted. Actually, that's not why I started this. The truth is, remember my sister Preston? She's an amazing chef. She's always dreamed of going to culinary school in Paris, but my parents told her to be practical, and she took their advice. Basically, but I'm going to earn enough money to treat Preston to dinner at the best restaurant in Paris, and maybe, just maybe, that inspire her to follow her dreams. Then we'd better sell a lot of cookies. Dennis is selling cookies in the cafeteria. Would you want cookies on your lunch menu? Oh yeah. More and more of your classmates drop by for cookies. Just as you're about to sell out, the lunch ladies march over, flanked by a few student gov members. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Aw, oh, snap, here we go. <laughs> we're gonna put Sarah, and we're gonna go with Simon. Here comes the lunch ladies, part seven. The stern lunch ladies hang back, arms folded and glaring. As Sarah and Simon approach you, Peyton and Nishan, we have a cease and desist order from our esteemed cafeteria personnel. You will stop selling cookies effective immediately, but there isn't a rule saying we can't sell them. Legislation could change at the drop of a hat. We'll take this to the principal if ne necessary. Let's do this the easy way. You take your desserts and leave, and we'll forget this ever happened. Oh, come on, we're not going to back down just like that. You're out of your depth here, Nishan. Walk away and let the adults handle this. But, never mind. Let's just get out of here. No, that's not happening. Uh-oh, we going to bat with them. In the cafeteria, the lunch ladies look honest and Sean faces off against Sarah and Simon. Terminate this bake sale at once. The cafeteria is hardly the place to practice free market business. No, 
Let me tell you what's going to happen. The cafeteria will sell our cookies at a marked up price in return the cafeteria gets 7% of the cut. And why would we accede to such demands? You get the best cookies in town and a monopoly on the school market. Even if we don't sell in the cafeteria, students will still come to us. This is a win-win proposition. If you know what's good for you, you'll partner with us. That's some big talk. What makes you think you're the best around? Don't believe us? See for yourself. Each of you take one on the house. Consider it a gesture of good faith. You offer a cookie to each. You offer a cookie each to Sarah, Simon, and the lunch ladies. This this cookie is better than a Senate majority. If I drew a Venn diagram of deliciousness, this cookie, it would just be a circle. And deliciousness and this cookie, it would just be a circle. Do we have a deal? Sarah and Simon quickly confer with the lunch ladies. We have a deal. The cafeteria will sell you cookies. Dennis's cookie business is expanding. Does Dennis have the recipe for success? A week later. You, Peyton, and Sean are all in the prep hangout, sprawled out on the couch after a long day of baking. Just then, Autumn walks in to see all of you in your stained aprons. Where have you guys been? You keep disappearing after school. If we want to make the most of our baking business, we have to strike while the iron is hot. Like, we have to bake all the time. We've got so many orders to fill. And Sean's cafeteria plan really worked out, huh? Of course, all according to my calculations. Just then, the door bangs open, Asher saunters in and snaps his fingers at you. Hey Dennis, how's it shaking? I was better five seconds ago. What do you want, Asher? Heard you guys are, heard you guys are the big dogs in the local baked goods game. Sorry, if you're here for cookies, we're sold out, and the next batch is still cooking. We can save you an order. How many do you want? All of them. Huh? You heard me. I'm about to make you three. I'm about to make you three the offer of a lifetime. All you've got to do is take a little ri take a little ride. Ash Asher gestures out the window to the sleek black Cadillac illegally parked outside. What makes you think we want to deal with you? Because you're smart, and anyone who's smart is going to like what I have to say. I've got a business proposition for you, part 8. Yeah, I don't like it. You and Ashana Payton climb into Asher's Cadillac as soon as you're speeding down the road. So, why do you want to make a deal with us? I mean, like, we're not exactly friends. Here's the deal. I'm pretty big in this town. My dad's involved in a lot of businesses, and one of them happens to be a bakery chain. You might have heard of it. Look at Lena Galetta. Your dad owns them? They're huge. Of course they are, and I want you to work for us. I've been hearing good things about your business. Asher parks his car outside a towering metallic building. The glass doors whisper open to let you in. Asher sweeps an arm out, showing you a gorgeous stainless steel kitchen. This is why you'll want to join me. Asher takes you on a tour of the gleaming LGG facilities. You walk past kitchen after kitchen filled with state-of-the-art baking equipment. In the distance, you see bakers hard at work, churning out trays of desserts. You want us to work here for you. Work for me? Not at all. We'd be partners. I provide the expert staff, the high-quality ingredients, and the latest in baking technology. You provide the skill and the recipe, and your cookies will be distributed all over the city. You... You have the latest immersion blender. You can't get these outside of Belgium. Only the best for LGG. Oh my gosh, you have like the best electric mixers. The Hurricane 2000 alone must have cost you a fortune. So how about it? This is a deal you can't refuse. I don't know about this. Nishan? It's up to you, Nish. If you want to do this, I'll stick by your side. Yeah, we'll back you up. You glance at Nishan who's looking thoughtfully at the kitchen. Asher, my answer is no. We don't need a big corporation telling us what to do. We may be young, but we can make it on our own. Deshaun turns on his heel and starts walking away, but Asher calls out to him. You'd be in charge, you know. Deshaun stops in his tracks. You'd be the boss. Our whole staff would answer to you. Really? Of course. We need you. Deshaun thinks for a moment. His gaze sweeps over you, Peyton, in the wide, shining expanse of the kitchen. Okay, you've got yourself a deal. Dennis just agreed to work for a bakery chain. Was Dennis sweet talked into it? Great, great. Knew you'd want to join up. I have my lawyers draw up a contract. You kids make yourselves at home, get a feel for the place. It's yours now. Asher walks out, his footsteps echoing in the silence of the empty, gleaming kitchen. I hope we're not making a mistake. Don't worry, if Asher decides to betray us, the only mistake will be his. You just signed on with the baking. Whoa, I don't even know how to say that. Conglomerate? What will become of you, Nishan, and Peyton? Keep playing to find out. Alright, so I guess that was actually like part one.
part one of that quest. So uh, I'm just going to end it here and I'll see you all in part two of this quest. Peace out.